Hello everybody, my name is Professor Shabon Isaac Berry from Berry Science Lab. Today, we are going to be looking at calculus, continuity with intervals. I can't even count anymore, it's been so many lectures. Now, just like always, by clicking on this video, you are obligated to learn with me, and I am obligated to teach you. Now, let us honor Sir Isaac Newton, not by geography, Isaac Newton changed the world. Well, he did, but like, I don't care about your damn sight. Now let us honor Sir Isaac Newton for creating the beautiful subject of calculus. All right, now get up. Next. Next doesn't mean Leibniz. Next means more calculus. What is an interval and how can we know about continuity on an interval? Well, we already know what continuity is from the previous lesson. We already know that. But what is an interval? So, this is our checklist. Continuity, yes. Interval, nope. So, what is an interval? Well, first, let's say we have a graph. And then, let's say we have, um, I don't know, A and B. Now, let's say we have a function. And we'll just pin this point, A, and then B. And then it goes on as normal. So what happens is it starts out like a quadratic, then we have an interval where it droops down, and then it becomes the cameraman's heartbeat. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> this in the middle, <laughs> this in the middle is you the interval. Me today. <laughs> this in the middle is A. Don't say any more joke. I'm going to die. <laughs> no, you aren't. <laughs> Calm down. A comma B. Now that's not X, Y coordinate. Don't get confused with your algebra class. This is the interval. Now you can differentiate it with the bracket. This bracket says it's open at B. And if we just undo that, um, what the hell? And we replace that with this bracket, it becomes A, open at A. Even the sky is so bored uh, at my lessons that it's raining now. It's freaking crying. I don't know. So, now we have an interval. So, we found the definition of an interval, but can we find continuity within an interval? Let's test your skills. All right. So, cameraman is still smiling at me like a, some creepy weirdo. And now, let's say we have A, C, just like the air conditioners I had in my apartment. And then we have this, interval A to C, which once again is the cameraman's heartbeat. So, the cameraman is having a seizure again, which means his heartbeat is going backwards. And now, we call this function of the cameraman's heartbeat, we call this function f of x. At least I'm going to call it that. So now, I'm going to put some little tricks, some little traps here. So let's say I put this, and then let's say I also put this. Dun dun dun. Trick or treat for calculus? Wait, trick or treat for Halloween? I'd rather choose calculus tricks. All right, so now, can you find the continuity in the interval AC? Let's see if you can. Five, four, ha, screw it. You can count by yourself. You should already know how to count if you come to this calculus class. All right, so now. It reminds me of a get to the job. <laughs> 
Max är lika kul som tre. The guy is just a two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so today we will understand divergence, but before we look at that, and divergence is in Maxwell equation three. But before we look at Maxwell equation three, we will learn how to count to three. One, two, three. Good job. All right. Now. It's gonna get like killed today. All right, now, sorry, sorry, cameraman. So first, let's actually draw the function that represents the cat, the cameraman's heart. Yep, that's his heartbeat. He's gonna die in a few seconds because of all the jokes. Even he says it himself. It clearly doesn't have continuity here because one, there's a little point this continuity over here. It jumps from y value and then jumps straight back. And two, there's a removable discontinuity over here, meaning that this is not continuous. All right. So now that means that the cameraman's heartbeat is not continuous. See, 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 see. That means it stop it once in a while. <laughs> well, that's not good. <laughs> Next doesn't mean lightness. Next means more calculus. <laughs> Our cameraman is having a seizure. <laughs> Please don't worry. So calculus. So today we're Can going to be. Can you say that thing again? Ne next. Oh, that's fine. Okay. <gasps> yeah. So our. So how can we measure continuity on an interval? What is an? Did the cameraman just drink unclean water? Okay. Well, I'm worried. Anyways, 